The church that uh, existed in Conejo since, well, it was actually built in the in the 1860s, and then they added onto it and enlarged it several times. But it burned down on Ash Wednesday in 1926. They think the cause was an electrical fire, and when it burned down. Um, the interior was totally gutted and destroyed, but the facade where the bell towers are, that front part remained, and some of the walls remained. So the people began to rebuild, and they incorporated the existing walls, what they could save, and it, they incorporated that into the new church. And then over the years, in 1930-something, in 1943, they made other additions. So the bell towers that you see out there now don't look like the towers in the original church exactly, but it's all incorporated. Um, the windows, of course, uh, were put in after the, the reconstruction, um, it, which was dedicated in 1928. The bishop came. There was an enormous celebration, I guess, of um, the, they described the processions and the, the men on horseback and the women dressed up and all of the children in the societies. It must have been a grand celebration. The windows were put in then. Some of the artwork that's there, the statues, um, there's a statue of St. Ignatius Loyola, which commemorates the fact that the Jesuits had the pastoral care of this parish from about 1870 until, oh, about 1920, I think. Um, other statues, um, there's a statue of St. Cajetan in honor of the Theatines, who then have cared for the parish, even till now. There was a beautiful um, old crucifix done in the Santero style, which was stolen from the church, unfortunately, um, I think about eight years ago. And then another crucifix in the same style, but recently made. I think people who come to visit think it's one of the most beautiful churches in the area.